hottest, most buzzed about trend in the coffee world. Now, cold brew coffee is not iced coffee. Cold brew coffee is a whole magical process of itself. And there's a lot of complicated ways to do it. And uh, Grayson Laird and Grady's have decided to take all the hoopla out, all the confusion and the guesswork and the process out and still give you the opportunity to cold brew coffee in your own home in a simple pour and serve system that is goof proof, simple, and does all the work for you. Uh, congratulations on all the press and publicity that Grady's has gotten as an exceptional better way to do cold brew coffee. Remember, when you do cold brew, we're talking lower acids, we're talking a sweeter flavor with no sugars. It's a really exciting innovation. And this is the first time we've ever found anybody that can offer you a full cold brew kit here at HSN. So thanks for all you've done. Yep, Exciting to have you here at HSN. Tell us a little bit about Grady's. Yeah, so Grady's started uh, seven years ago in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, this is the easiest way to make cold brew at home. As you said, this is an all-in-one kit, so everything is included in the kit. All you have to do is add water to it. Uh, let me start by making you a glass. I actually brewed you up a decaf version. Thank you. Uh, do you take it black with milk, almond milk? You know, actually, normally I would say almond milk, but I gotta tell you what, I'd like to try it black because Cold brew's tough, right? I mean, you really wanna see what the flavor is because not everybody is able to do this. And it really, I'm excited about this. Let me go. Absolutely, so the advantages to cold brew are that, like Ooh. you said, no bitter bite, Ooh. a lot less acidity. That's and good. the biggest thing is it stays mm. fresh for so much longer. This actually will stay fresh in your refrigerator for up to two weeks once you brew it. So I gotta tell you, hot coffee, I need almond milk. Mm -hmm. I would drink this black. Absolutely. So for anybody that loves coffee flavor, for anybody who needs the caffeine in the morning, uh, but you're trying to get rid of the creams, the sugars, the half and halves, the artificial sweeteners, go cold brew. Especially right now, well, it's still hot as dickens across this entire country. Go cold brew. Now tell me a little bit about what we need to know because there's a lot of servings you're getting mm -hmm. and how do we go about using the bags that you offer to yeah, us? Yeah, so it really could not be easier. Once you get this mm. pouch delivered, what's inside are three batches worth of cold brew. Each batch will actually make you 12 servings so you can see what you get out of one batch. Total, the whole pouch will make 36 servings. So you're talking less than a buck a cup. And to make a batch, all you have to do is you open up one of the bundles, you take all four of the bean bags, and this looks like a bean bag from childhood, it happens to be filled with 100% Arabica beans from Indonesia, Ethiopia, chicory imported from France, which makes it New Orleans style, and a couple secret spices that make a signature to Grady's. Yeah. So all you do is you put all four of the bean bags into the pouch, and then you fill it with water. So you use eight cups or half a gallon of water, uh, you can use filtered water, you can use bottled water, you can use tap water, whatever tastes best. And if you don't want to measure it out, there's actually a fill line on the back as well, which you can see. Uh, so you just fill it up with water to there, and that's it. It really is that simple. So a couple of genius things about this cold brew kit you should know. One, once it's in the refrigerator, it's good for up to two weeks. So if you are the only coffee drinker in the house, you could have one of these bags and go back to it for two full weeks without having to rebrew. That's because of its low acidity levels. That's what makes it last as long as it possibly can. And the bag itself <clears throat> and what's in it is reusable, right? Yep, yeah, once you're done with a batch, you can rinse it with mild soap, warm water, and you can reuse it another two times. And like you said, it does stay fresh in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. So anytime you get a craving for iced coffee, instead of leaving your home or office, walking, or driving to a coffee shop, standing in line, over pain, speaking a special barista language. Instead, you just go to your refrigerator and you pour it. It's that easy. Now, cold brew is expensive. Well, let's just call it like it is. I yes. mean, they, they all know. The major coffee chains, they know it's the hottest, coolest, mm -hmm. newest thing. They know people have discovered the fact that it's lower acidity levels. There's no bitter bite to it. People can use less sweetener, less dairy products mm -hmm. in it. So they're, they're jacking up the prices. Now you can have it on demand. I mean, this pouch in your office, in the fridge, you could serve the entire uh, office pool cold brew coffee. Uh, you can have this in your fridge for two full weeks and simply use the little pour spout right there at the bottom to pour an individual cup as you go. I mean, this really is, there's a reason, it's not just like a, a fad, it's not just like, oh, it's the thing, right? right? And it'll come and go. 
there's reasons why yeah. cold brew is literally better than the traditional ways of it making is, coffee. It is better, and at less than a buck a cup, you will save so much time, so much money versus going to the coffee shop. And coffee is probably the most subjective beverage in the world, down to the granule of sugar, down to the droplet of milk, and that can be any thousand different types of milk, from goat to oat these days. And uh, instead of mi mixing with a mystery craft at the end of the coffee shop, you are in complete control. So it's completely customizable to your taste. If you have dietary restrictions, if you really want organic milk, you are in complete control of what you're uh, what you're putting in. And we're shipping it to your door for free, so you can try it out risk-free. Uh, like Grayson said, we're talking about less than a dollar a cup, and we know that is not what they are charging at the coffee shops to give that to you today. Now, I will let you know it does come in decaf. If you love the flavor of coffee, if you want to have a cold brew, here's the thing, I'm very sensitive to caffeine after noon. That's why I asked them, I begged them to make me a decaf. If I had been on at nine o'clock this morning, I would have been said, bring on the leaded. Uh, but if you want decaf, it is actually available for you. My mom loves the flavor of coffee, but she wonderfully sacrificed caffeine when she was pregnant with me and my brother. And ever since then, she can't drink caffeine, but she still loves the flavor of it. So you can get this cold brew experience in decaf and it is available for you. There's the information. There's a limited supply of those as well but today uh, we're giving you a sale price to be introduced to a new concept and and you may not know this but we've tried to offer cold brews in different ways and mm -hmm. there's all these very big contraptions yeah expensive and they're very expensive and there's 17 rules and you have to know the secret code and you have to whisper nice things to yeah, it and, absolutely you know you you've got to take a, a week to get a degree in cold brewing you said why don't we just do all the degree hard work for you guys yeah. and say pour some water put it in your fridge and enjoy, yeah we right? take all the guesswork out of everything pre-measured everything's super easy to use and because it's a concentrate you cannot mess it up so if it's too strong you can dilute it further if it's not strong enough you can always add more concentrate so you're really finding your perfect cup and you know that's very subjective so that's and good. it really is very very tasty and I do love no bitter bite there's no need to cut it mm -hmm. with creamer or milk or almond milk there's no need to add artificial sweeteners which come on guys we all know how terrible those are for our bodies but we go but I I need my coffee in the morning and I can't drink it with it. Try a cup of cold brew. That's why it's become such a big, huge craze today because people are realizing that as much as they love coffee, the things they don't like about coffee actually don't exist in cold brew. Yeah, and this is a very pure flavor and another really important thing, this is New Orleans style, so that chicory adds just a little bit of natural sweetness. A lot of people that would normally put sugar in their iced coffee or cold brew, with ours, they find out that they absolutely do not need it and you would be amazed at how happy people are to figure out that you don't need sugar in So once I throw my bags in. Yep, I'm gonna show you guys again. I add my water, uh -huh. I throw it in my fridge. Yep, four And bags. how long before my first cup? Uh, so it steeps while you sleep or brews while you snooze, we say. <laughs> and so uh, anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. 12 is the easiest way. Um, and longer does equal stronger, but again, it's really up to your taste. And then when we talk about the fact that it stays, you, you know, drinkable and tasty for up to two weeks, mm -hmm. do you take the bags out or do you leave yeah. them in? It, it's really up to you. If you want to take the bags out, that's probably the easiest way. That way they won't clog in the spigot or anything. And to do that, really, really simple. So just take a bowl. You can compost these. You can throw these bean bags away. Uh, you can sprinkle the grounds in your garden, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can use a slice spoon to remove them you can use tongs I think the easiest way is just to get in there and use your hands these have been soaking for uh, about 12 hours so you do need to be fragile you don't want to break any of the bags uh, but that's it really you're just removing them taking them out super easy and then what you're left with is that 12 servings of cold brew so one last little thought before we move on here if you've got college kids they will literally worship the ground you walk on if you send this to them. They all want oh, cold brew. Mm -hmm. They all don't have the budget for what they're charging at the coffee shops. And they can keep this in their mini fridge, in their dorms, mm -hmm. in their small studio apartments, and get the coffee flavors that they want for, well, you're footing the bill for them, but the cost is unbelievable. Introduce this to them, and then they'll be back for more. We do have auto ship available for you. If you're excited about how the simple, easy way to do cold brew in your own home, you can uh, guarantee that reduced price on future shipments and you can always customize and cancel at any time as to how quickly we send you more bags from Grady's. Uh, congratulations on all the Thank success you, you guys much. have had. Great idea. I mean, really great way to take something that's been made very complicated and say the coffee shops want you to to exactly. have it be complicated and make it easy. So thank you so much. We You're do welcome. appreciate it. Thank you. Now, we actually are offering four or more flex on our entire coffee shop. 
So we have what's called the coffee shop at hsn.com. And uh, there's coffee makers and there's different flavors and, and manufacturers of coffee. And one of the other things you'll find in the coffee shop is our 